Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at two examples for budgetary accounting. Now, those two examples could appear in the form of a CPA simulation on the CPA exam. So it's very important that you are familiar with budgetary accounting because they are heavily covered. But this topic is also covered in a governmental and not-for-profit graduate or undergraduate accounting course and obviously the CPA FAR section. If you have connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. YouTube is where I house all my 1,500 plus accounting auditing tax, all my courses right there, list of them, 1,500 lectures. Please check out, check them out. On my website, I do have additional resources such as the exercises that you will see today, the Excel sheet, any PowerPoint slides that's listed on the website you have access to, as well as multiple choice through false questions, exercises, and if you are studying for your CPA, 2,000 CPA questions. If you are looking to, to study with someone, studypal.co can connect you with someone. They, they are an artificial intelligence dri driven study body platform that match you with a candidate either for the CPA, CFA, or any other exam. They are in 85 countries and 2,500 cities. So today we're going to look at two exercises, starting with the first one. The first one would deal with journal entries. And those journal entries we're going to be looking at budgetary accounting to show you how budgetary accounting works so we have one two three four five six six transactions so let's go ahead and look at the excel sheet because here i can have the excel sheet with the journal entries so for each of the summarized transaction for the village um, the general fund prepare the general ledger entry so starting with a the budget was formally adopted was formally adopted and for estimated revenue of 1,120,000, an appropriation of 987,000. In simple English, they created the budget for this village and they estimated revenue to be 1,120,000, an appropriation, which is expenditure, or simply put, you know, by expenses, 987. Now, this is good because what's going to happen based on the estimate, they're going to have a budgetary fund balance, a credit balance, which is kind of a surplus. So, what entry do we make? Well, first, we're going to we are going to we are going to debit the revenue account it's not revenue account technically it's estimated revenue we're going to debit estimated revenue for 1,120,000 we're going to credit appropriation control 987,000 and simply put appro appropriation control means we the budget has been approved to spend that much money so we are approved to spend that much money 900 and 87,000 now the difference obviously we're going to be we're assuming we are thinking about or planning to bring more revenues than expenses the difference is 133 in a sense this is a surplus or increase in the budgetary fund balance so this is transaction a and this is how we start the budgetary process transaction b revenue were received all in cash in the amount of 1,105 good we're starting to receive some cash so we debit cash for that amount because we received that much cash and we credit control uh, revenue revenue account re revenue control or just revenue now this is the actual revenue this is the actual revenue because revenue takes a credit this is the actual revenue now transaction c purchase ordered were issued in the amount of 479 that's all what happened all what we did is we issued a purchase order po were issued for 479 simply put now we are ready to make purchase order we, we are ready to make purchases so what do we have to do when we issue a purchase order here's what we have to do there's a series of in a sense of transaction okay first we have to we have to encumber this account we're going to encumber this account and encumber this am ac amount means we're going to say remember we 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 said we're going to spend 987 now we said we are going to spend 479 this is what called encumbrance account this way we remove it from the budget so simply put this amount is removed from this amount although we only place a purchase order we issued a purchase order we didn't do anything yet nevertheless the government because control is very important we have to put that money away so we we credit budget uh, encumbrance control and we credit a budgetary fund balance for the same amount budgetary fund balance reserved for encumbrances uh 479 okay now transaction d of the 479 and c so remember we encumbered 479 purchase order were filled in the amount of 470 500 so we filled out purchase order so we filled out purchase order of 470 the invoice was 
I'm sorry, four seventy five hundred. The invoice was only four hundred and seventy thousand dollar. Now, the purchase order were filled, and we filled four hundred and seven four hundred and seventy thousand five hundred of those four seventy nine. So the first thing we have to do is we have to book this entry. Budgetary basically reverse what we did earlier. Reverse what we did earlier. So notice here, encumbrance, encumbrance encumbrances control is credited and the budgetary fund balance is debited so basically we reverse this because now we actually the purchase order were filled the invoice was 470,000 the invoice was only 470,000 well what does that mean it means we have an expenditure now because we are invoiced 470 we thought it's going to be 47500 and we credit basically a payable now we're not yet paid therefore we're gonna pay it so this is where the expenditure took place this is where the expenditure took place expenditure for payroll not encumbered amount to 530 now we income we we're gonna record expenditure for uh, payroll payroll expenditure generally they are not encumbered therefore we're gonna debit expenditure 513,000 and credit payable or salaries and wages payable or simply accounts payable here for that amount uh, amount in D and E are paid so simply put D and E are paid the two payable where we have to debit the payable for that amount and credit cash for that amount credit cash for that amount okay so those are series of journal entries the last couple ones you should be familiar with the focus here is as um, is, is a government uh, and not-for-profit uh, accounting students or if you're studying for the exam the key is those entries these are the budgetary account specifically let me focus on only appropriation control you appropriated that much okay you said you're gonna spend that much and transaction C let me look at transaction C purchase order were issued once the purchase order are issued you encumber the amount that's all we did is we issue them then they were filled once they are filled we reverse the encumbrance so we reverse this we reverse this entry okay then the actual invoice were for set for 470 now we have an expenditure expenditure and payable then we paid the payable so I hope the, the these transaction would help you practice and understand uh, the budgetary accounting now let me take a look at let's take a look at another exercise which I believe it's very beneficial as well see if you can read see if you can read what happened so this is what we have here and this is basically I would say this is a continuation of the previous chapter appearing below is a subsidiary balance subsidiary ledger for the public safety department for the city of Boone after the after the first month of the year five entries has been made Okay. So describe the most likely event that led to each of the posting. One, two, three, four, five. So they, do you know what happened here? Well, let's see. We have an appropriation column, encumbrance column, expenditure column, and basically ending, you know, appropriation and expanded appropriation. Well, let's look at this. Amount in credit means, amounts in parentheses means they are credited. So you credited appropriation. Well, guess what? What happened in the prior, in the prior, in the prior exercise? In the prior exercise, we debited estimated revenue, we credited appropriation, and we had the fund balance credit. The f happened to be credit fund balance because we had more revenues than expense, more re more estimated revenues than expenses. So here's what we did: we credited appropriation. So what does that mean? It means this is when we approve the budget. So simply put, this entry means budget was approved. Budget approved to spend three hundred thousand dollars. That's all what it means. Okay, in the amount of three hundred thousand. Transaction two. Transaction two. We see encumbrances increased or debited. Remember, when we increase encumbrances, it means purchase order were placed. Okay. So no, so once the purchase order were placed. We increase encumbrances this goes up and notice the appropriation amount now we only have in our appropriation 28500 to spend okay why because we said we're gonna buy something for 19,500 okay transaction three notice encumbrances went down it's minus it's a credit well it means invoice totaling 
Okay, the invoice is different. Well, it means 16,000, remember, the first thing is we do the encumbrance. The first thing we do, let's let's do the 19,500. Let's do the entries, I believe it's better. So what we do is we debit encumbrance for 19,500 and we credit the budgetary fund balance. Budgetary fund balance credited 19,500, whoops. So this is the entry that we make for the 19,500. In transaction three, 16,000 were reversed. So we reverse this, we will do the opposite for only 16,000. We'll do the opposite only for 16,000. Simply put, we debit budgetary fund balance, credit encumbrance, but the actual expenditure was 15,500. We thought we we're gonna spend 16, we only spent 15,500. This is what transaction three means. And notice, um, notice, notice what happened here. Just want, I want you to notice something that the appropriation balance went from 28500 to 281500 so simply put because we spend $500 less on what we thought we we're going to spend therefore this $500 it goes back into the budget so the appropriation account went up $500 after transaction after transaction 3 transaction 4 nothing 11000 of expenditure remember certain expenditure like payroll they are not encumbered well Guess what? They are going to reduce the budget, the appropriate the appropriation budget by eleven thousand. And here, eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand. And notice here, this is a debit. Well, what is, what is this likely? Most likely, we reduced our appropriation. Simply put, we thought we we're going to spend three hundred thousand dollar. Now, what's three hundred minus eighteen? In total, we're going to be spending two eighty. Oh God. Uh, 282 so simply put the total budget now it's 282 because we inc simply put notice we reduce the budget by 18,000 because we simply think you know we're spending too much okay so we reduce the budget or we don't need that much spending I don't know what happened but the point is we reduce the budget okay we have to cut cost we I don't know why maybe revenue that we estimated coming in is not coming in it doesn't matter the point is if appropriation is debited which is like the 18,000 it's the opposite as if it's credited. When it's credited, it means we are we're increasing our future budget. Now we are debiting our budget, budget is going down. I hope these exercises back to back gave, gave you a better idea about, about, uh, about budgetary accounting. If you have any questions, email me. I strongly suggest you visit my website for additional lectures and exercises and true, false, multiple choice and practices as this is a good investment in your career and in your school and in your certification study hard and good luck